Hello everyone! Welcome for the XTC round 6. This is the beginning of a day 2. We have 4 rounds to go today before we put a crown on somebody's head. Hope you're doing fine. It's early for a Sunday, but it's okay. We'll do it. And for once, I'm almost on time. Greetings from Brazil. Greetings, greetings from France, then. How are you doing? Alright, so everything seems to be set on my side. Flags are okay. Names are okay. Teams are okay. Lists are okay. Can I just see? So let's just have the scores for each team. Uh, zero one, zero two, zero one two. Two and two three. So it should be this way, and then Spain zero one, zero two, zero three, zero four, zero five. that all right I lost all my channel points yesterday ah. <laughs> wrong beddings then it's okay comes and goes you'll live past this I have no worries all right so you've got the scores of the teams next to their names points are made to go down correct even more if it's not money which it isn't obviously all right good morning talking dog so only bidding 10 <laughs> I must <coughs> I must say this is some kind of a personal goal that we are achieving by having those two players on stream because having Spain grants me the whole country road I had them once uh, each and I uh, didn't catch any scum and villainy list which now is done as well so yeah, Ooh, seven factions, all of the teams, I'm glad. Yeah, for, for me it's the morning, but yeah. All right, and I get to say I do like the list, the Republic list. <laughs> this emote is marvelous. Got to stream them all. Yes, correct. I'm glad I could. I mean, not all the games, of course, but all the factions and all the teams. I'm glad I did. That's cool. I wanted to have everyone on stream. Not only the winning, not only the um, close to being crowned. I just wanted to have, to have them all. Plus, in a team event, you never know what happens. Sometimes this game is the most important because it sets your mind for the rest of the day and you appear to be like the one that is undefeated day two and some others don't. And basically you win the game. The tournament, I guess. All right, so I guess this is Rogue Roll for round one, which means we are going to be interested in the lists. 
All right. Oh, AM or PM? Well, I guess if you're writing it this way, I guess it's AM. So, oof. Nice. <laughs> Very early then. All right. So, for the Republic, played by Island and Cormac, we've got Hound. Hound has the ability to take those strains, depletes from its allies as long as they uh, grab it uh, when they are in it in its turret arc. Of course, there is the fire convergence that allows any ally performing a non-turret attack, which is everyone right now, um, to have two rerolls if, again, they are in his uh, turret arc. Yoda giving the, the um, purple coordinate two force, one recurring. After another friendly ship at range zero to executes fully executes a purple maneuver or performs a purple action, you may spend one force, and if you do, that ship recovers one force. So has to be range zero two, but can help with several things as we are going to see. Uh, seventh fleet gunner, you spend the charge, and an ally gets one more die but the defender has to be in your firing arc and in system phase you can recharge that paying the price with a disarm token and then agile gunner to always have the turret pointed in you the direction that you want mace windu in the delta 7 aether sprite after you fully execute a red maneuver recover a force he has fine-tuned controls. After you fully execute a maneuver, you can spend a force to perform either a boost or a barrel, which goes with Yoda. Hidden perception to spend a force and shoot at initiative 7. Or 4 P17. After you fully execute a red, you can spend a force and perform an action, even while stressed. And then calibrated laser targeting. Bullseye equals an eye that you can add to your roll after rolling. Obi-Wan Kenobi. After a friendly ship at range order to spend a focus, you may spend a force and then he keeps the focus. Same ship ability. Elusive to be a little bit more defensive. Calibrate laser targeting once again and a shield upgrade. And then Anakin Skywalker. After you are a friendly Obi-Wan Kenobi ship at range 2 to 3 executes a maneuver. If there are more enemy ships than other friendly ships at range 0 to 1 of that ship, you may spend a force, and if you do, that ship removes one red of your choice. And intuitive controls works with Yoda. During the system phase, you may perform a purple barrel or purple boost action. Then there is compassion. So before an ally would be dealt a face-up pilot damage card, you can spend the force and you deal this card to yourself but face down. Uh, and if you have two or more damage card, you recover a force. I guess this upgrade is once again there because you have one point left and you don't know what to do with it. Because I still don't see why you would damage Anakin on purpose. Patience, you can recover force at the start of engagement by taking a deplete. Marksman, bullseye equals hit to crit, jamming beam because it's free, shield upgrade, and R2D2 that allows you, by spending a charge after you activate, to gain a deplete and repair a damage card, or recover a shield, or remove a device at range 0 to 1. So that is one way of giving a deplete to Hound, for example. Alright, so where did that miss? Uh, Canada is Peru with Leaf, lol. I see if people say this in Discord. RNG just came up with that. Good stuff. Mexico is Italy with a bird then. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'll let you guys take a look at the positioning. What is that? Yeah, okay. So Boba has... We'll talk about that in a second. But Boba has a cloaking device, which is the reason why he's cloaked right now. 
All right, so Scum and Villainy, first appearance on the stream. We start with Gamut Key, two charges, one recurring at the start of the end phase, which means he will spend the two charges and then recover one immediately. You may spend two charges to choose yourself or a ship in your third arc with one or more circular tokens. During the end phase, circular tokens are not removed. Very <clears throat> interesting ability. Very strong, of course. The grip to is elusive and protectroid glaive. After you coordinate a friendly, you may transfer one orange or red token to the ship you coordinated, which means the coordination, uh, which means a uh, stress. But you can also transfer a jam, a disarm, whatever. But it's now only for friendly, so you might as well transfer something that uh, you know the ship will get rid of easily. Serisu, while a friendly at range 0 to 1 defends, it may reroll one of its dice, equipped with proton torpedoes allowed by weapon hardpoint. Genesis Red. After you acquire a lock, you must remove all of your focus and evade tokens, then gain the same number of focus and evade that the ship you locked. Equipped with elusive and proton torpedoes allowed by weapon hardpoint. Then, to conclude, Boba Fett. While defend a perform an attack, you may reroll one of your dice for each enemy ship at range 0 to 1. So, Boba lacks, likes to be close to his enemies. It's equipped with uh, Fearless. Attacking from the front and facing your opponent means you can change any of your dice to a hit. Proton Torpedoes. Cloaking device, as I mentioned, so you can spell a charge to perform a cloak action at the start of the planning phase, you roll one attack die. And on a uh, focus result, you decloak or discard your decloak, which he just rolled. I don't know if you saw that, but he rolled an I, so he has to decloak or lose a decloak. Uh, has to decloak or lose the cloak token. Uh, Marauder will perform a primary back attack, back arc attack. You may reroll one attack die. And Veteran Tail Gunner, you can perform uh, a back arc attack after performing a front arc attack. He's also equipped with a Sokatano. Gives it gives him a force, which is basically what you have to consider, but anyway, her ability is after you fully execute a maneuver, you may spend a force to choose a friendly ship in your full back arc at range one to two. If you do, that ship may perform a red focus action even while stressed. Also, I forgot to mention that Yoda works with Anakin's purple maneuvers. This is the only ship having purple maneuver. And it is a two talon. So that could also be one way to use Yoda. And this is it for the lists. Right before we get into round two, last mention is about the objective, the scenario. So five objectives for a soul at the satellite array. The goal behind this is to remain close of the little objective markers that you can see on the board, five of them. Starting round two, being at range zero one of those means you score one point each for each satellite you're close to and if you have the same number of your as your of ship as your opponent there is no point score and medium ship medium ship bases count as two and basically you've got every information you need all right spain 05 don't see that coming yeah, I think Ireland is actually 212. Oh, really? Because on my document, there is nothing about any draw 
on the tournament scheduler. You know what? I'll I'll get you the link to you because this is the official document if I understood correctly. I mean, this is what I uh, understood um, yesterday. Oh. With cloaking device, can you fail the decloak and keep the token? Uh, 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 ask, ask, uh, ask a judge. I don't know, actually. But I guess the answer is no, because you must decloak or lose the token. So in any case, the, uh, the answer is no to me. But then again, I'm no judge and I'm not allowed to interfere. So I'll just ping a judge for them. XCC E2. Yeah, okay. They already did. They already did. But I don't want to be taking that decision for them. So it's decloak or lose the token. Yeah, that's that's what I said. Okay. Uh, island team points seven. <coughs> How can you have, like, hmm. Not quite sure I understand this uh, team ladder. Team points, team member points, head to head, MVP, yes, always. Not quite sure. But anyway, if you're telling me it's 113, I'll just correct that. So this should be this should be this then. And it's up to date, so it's okay. That takes into account the current round. Yeah, but I don't think it's now the problem is about like team points. I don't know how to count those because Spain didn't win any game, and yet they've got four points, which I don't understand. You know what? That's okay. I trust you. I have a bad feeling for Hound. Yes, <laughs> I have to. Did a judge join them or? Oh yeah, there you go. I see Filippo with them. So it's okay. It's going to be handled. Perfect. Right, so if you don't see any timer on my stream, that is absolutely uh, normal. <coughs> the reason is pretty simple actually. Um, they are to follow the global timer that they can find on TTT. But as you know, this event is about having uh, a lot of teams which represent five guys each, plus the ones that want to follow the event on TTT uh, without being on stream or watching or whatever so the site could just collapse by having too much visitors at once so i don't have any timer because i chose not to go on tdt that is basically why if they don't set up a timer i won't set up one as well 54 minutes left right now okay thank you for the update I mean, we are ho we are like uh, just like they are. They don't know the timer. No, no that's not, that's not how it works. But anyway, 
I've played some games with the hidden timer and what I see about that is practically nothing though hello from work though the last game I played in person was really linked to this uh, timer thing because we were playing um, some kind of an, an aggressive uh, some kind of an aggressive joust and my opponent was playing Tel Trevora and he chose to come back directly in front of the fight which was good for me because his attack didn't do what he planned and mine did kill Tel and the round ended after that and if he knew that it would have been the last round he could have played Tel differently but the thing is the feeling of the game was that we played quite fast or it seems so it seemed so and basically we didn't think it was the last round and what the ring just put brought us back to reality <coughs> That was kind of a surprising and fun uh, end to this game. So this was the first time I had the um, opportunity to say that hidden timer was a thing. Because until now, nothing quite uh, different from the global experience. Alright. Hello to Raviolo. Thank you for being here. Do we have a list of all final squads? Uh, not... So we are round two, which means scoring starts now. And due to current positioning, seems like it seems like uh, scum and villainy will be uh, scoring the bottom right one. Hound will be scoring this one unless he's dead, but. Though he's in danger, I don't see him dying right now. It seems like Anakin should be able to score this one, Mace Windu this one, and Obi-Wan this one, which means it should be a 4-1 to one lead at the end of the round, which is a good one, though Hound is in a very, very bad spot and could just pay 5 points for being here next round. And that, well, wouldn't be that cool. Did Boba move? I don't think so. Not yet. I mean, Serisu moved. Yeah, Boba didn't. I guess it's... Uh... Yeah, okay. Obi's turn. So yeah, it will be probably four points. I'm quite concerned about Anakin's positioning. And Obi-Wan's positioning. But, um... Ooh, purple evade. Uh, oh, Genesis could just get a target lock. Fortunately for Hound, it shows the reinforce, which basically means that uh, there is no stealing from uh, Genesis. And there is one damage that will go... Uh, on the uh, on the reinforce, which is quite good. I didn't see the model for Genesis. Is that the the one from? Uh, oh, that's a nice one. 
I thought it was it would it was more pink, but that's a nice one. All right. <clears throat> Sorry for that. <laughs> uh, did Mace put himself in this position uh, voluntarily? I think um, Cormac might have might have forgot that uh, Boba didn't move. Oh, so he boosts straight. I guess the one hard to either side um, will get you out. Problem is, you are quite predictable next turn. And you're in a position where you're blocking Genesis from doing a um, very fast maneuver. Like three hard is impossible. And it could be good to perform that kind of maneuver. Though uh, if Mace moves first, it's still okay. But you know, like in this position, I would have boosted with Anakin. You're still at range one, and you committed to you do um, uh, this way, which is quite logical because it seems like you will do that. But anyway, I can also understand that um, you don't want to be committing, though the fight is going to happen right there. It's pretty much obvious now. Hound is here to tank a bit and then the Jedi's are going to strike from these these area. So yeah, and as you mentioned, uh, Hound won't be scoring because of this boost from Boba. Which is quite nice because now it is 3 to 1 instead of Four to one. All right, that is a good start. Force from uh, Ahsoka. Force from Yoda. Then reinforce. Then a shield. He forgot about reinforce. No, there is no reinforce because of Boba's positioning. That is why. Uh, one, two. And that is why he spent. Uh, I think the murder of Hound is the priority. It's five points and a huge force mul multiplier. Yes, I do agree. Okay, so that was Proton Torpedo out of Serisu. Will be three damage, one crit. One, two, three. What is the crit? Stunned, not relevant, probably. Alright, so sorry, I missed the last attack. I guess that was Mace on, on Boba. Yeah, it seems like that. So Boba took shield. Uh, one Proton Torpedo out of both of them. Cloaking device minus one. I guess we're okay with the charges. Fire Convergence. Seventh Fleet Gunner. I cannot track fire converges though. All right, so this is Genesis. So it will be one. I mean, it will be one anyway. So it will be one, and it will be a crit, and the crit will be uh, 
Council fire. That one matters, actually. Council fire. PSA when facing these republic lists, the lad is the first that has to go, it doesn't defend well, moves like a brick. And if left alone, it will give double mods and red dice for the rest of the game. Yeah, yes, 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 dangerous piece, of course. Alright, so it seems to be Hound, not a nice one. Nice evade though. Alright, and it will be the end of the turn. So, scoring will be 3 to 1 in favor of the Republic and Ireland. Alright, so end of turn two. Scoring is okay for me, scoring is okay for them. They forgot about Council Fire, which deals one more damage. And now we are up. Alright, so Republic of Ireland indeed. <laughs> Alright, so now should be the moment where the Jedi's come into play and join the rest of the forces. Gamut seems to be a bit far, but his interest is only no half point on ships in satellite, right? Yes, right. Only in chance engagement. So Gamut is a bit far, but his way of dealing with uh, the list isn't about putting on some damage, it's just about coordinating, having a three-point ship coordinating, which also feels quite nice. Besides that, his ability is quite strong, so you need to make that survive for a bit in order for it to be quite good. So it can, it can work on a lot of things. Basically, everything that is round works. So, let's go with what works. Genesis can uh, take some focus and evade from opponents and then throw a torpedo, which means if she doesn't use everything she did grab, I mean, it, she's not grabbing, she's just copying, but anyway, if she didn't use everything, she can save for later turns. Uh, Serisu doesn't benefit from it, like, it's just like normal benefit, nothing impressive. What is good about Genesis is that she gains and then she uh, keeps without even doing the action. What could be good on Boba as well is the Reinforce. It's, it's red, correct? Yeah, Reinforce is red on both those ships. So yeah, uh, Boba could just perform a, like, turn right, perform a Reinforce. Having a, uh, I mean, I pretty much call the one hard right or any kind of right hard 
maybe the two, I don't know, from Boba, because he lines up the double shot, uh, one out the front and one out the back, with the reroll <clears throat> from the Marauder. Um, so it should be this way that he goes. And then he could reinforce to avoid taking some heavy fire from the Jedi. And then Gamut can make him keep the reinforce, which is also quite nice. My one XTC game was with Boba Gamut list. It's a really strong combo. Yeah, of course. Like action, economy on medium and hard and hard. And uh, ugh. Small, medium, large. Uh, action economy on um, medium and large ship is something that is not often taken into account. But once in the fray, it's common that you cannot do any action for like several turns. So right now, it's a bit less than that because you can perform stressing focus thanks to 2.5. But then again, it's always nice to know that you can rely on your tokens. But then, like, okay, so look at that. Hound took a disarm to charge back his 7th fleet gunner. So this is a case of no use for some kind of a very uh, simple reason. But Gamut could just spend his two charges and make that Hound stays the Zom for the turn. Why is it useless though? Because next turn Hound is probably getting himself disarmed again. For the same purpose. Hard right is really good for Boba. So good on anything that has it, to be honest. True as well. It's strong combo, but I don't like the Gleb Gunner. Well, I guess it's it looks like scum. It smells scum. But let's be honest for a second. I just dislike the pilot, his ability, and his crew. But that's just that's just me. Nothing more than a biased opinion and no argument. I just dislike that. Okay, so Mace comes in, uh, isn't in range of Yoda, not even close. Why is um, Serisu stressed? Oh, because, of course, Gleb did pass the stress, so it's okay. All right, rolled. No, no, it's not the roll. It's uh, the uh, the stress from it, not from the roll, from the coordination. <laughs> I performed a white barrel, which means I will be stressed. What? Uh, all right. So took an evade. I'm not quite sure why. Boba cannot. Sh okay, so from all the Jedi that could come in. Oh, yeah, my bad. Yeah, so this is also a problem. But I guess he handled the problem quite good. Took an evade. So Genesis takes an evade. But having an evade and shooting a proton torpedo doesn't help. So maybe it's a very clever choice. You take an evade, you still have your force. And your opponent doesn't benefit from your modifiers. Which is quite nice. Obi-Wan so yeah this was really huge that um, our Republic player played first because if it wasn't the case then the luck wouldn't have given anything to Genesis so pretty pretty huge turn actually and he likes to perform purple 
actions is doing almost only that since the beginning of the game. Oh, attempted a too hard and will go over the asteroid. One damage has to roll. Suffers no more and can still perform an action. I guess to be truly honest, you like Boba to take automatic damage. That was too hard. Yes. Haha, <laughs> I like the pun. That was too hard. Uh, Alright, so I guess now Boba is range 1. Yeah, it seems like it. I don't think he's contesting, though. Ooh, Serisu, range 1, has defensive rerolls, is probably... Uh, no, I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's uh, just a bit too far from Genesis. And Anakin comes in fast, 5 straight, hesitating about a boost. You won't line up the bullseye anyway. So Anakin is equipped with nothing... Nothing much of a uh, an aggressive piece. I'm not sure about getting the lat to three, then not finishing it off. Uh, yeah, it's just just about time I understood what you said. Yeah, I um I do agree. Uh, not boosting with Boba was probably getting the kill on the lat, but now. Oh, it, he's still in range, though. He is still in range. Alright, so who's attacking? I guess it's Anakin on Gamut. Yes, it is. Gamut is fine. I like both Gamut and Gleb. With Gleb and Gamut means it's only a support piece without any other ease. It's hard not to coordinate. So scenario with actions is not for you. That's why I play him with proton bombs. I understand. Alright, so you've got plenty of choices. So I guess this is Obi-Wan. And Obi-Wan will be shooting on Boba, actually. Okay, so Obi-Wan on Boba. Four dice because of range one. Marvelous shot. This is a crit. So you can just... Yeah, the problem is you two can evade. Oh, fire convergence. Why not? Oh, suspense. Nothing at all. Alright. So anyway, you wouldn't have spent all force. You've got a reroll because this is range 1. Let's see if he remembers. He does. Nothing at all. Do you use your force? I bet you do. Because if you don't, there's a crit going through. You don't want that. Two shields on Boba. Actually, Boba has taken some heavy shot right now. Um, Boba will be able to drop some proton bombs. It could be dangerous for Obi if he's out of shields at the end of this round. Boba is on four, has one reroll. That's one way to put it. This is why I hate Boba. Why is he re-rolling that? Oh, okay, fearless. That's why, he's flexing. He's just flexing. All right, and Obi-Wan will take one damage after spending a force and uh, the evade, I guess. I mean, you've got to do it, that's no option. Look at that, that guy is flexing. Come on. Okay, and then back arc attack. This is range 3 obstructed, so that's 3 on 3. But there is a reroll from Predator. Um, Marauder. 
and one because you've got someone at range one which is quite strong because you're attacking someone at range three abstracted and you still get a reroll nice try to have a crit it's free yeah there's also that oh well spend two avoid taking damage you better do it What is this roll? Oh, it must be Serisu on Hound. And it kills Hound. Oh, man. That's unlucky for sure. Panicked. Yeah, say, say that as you, as you want. Well, that's flexing. All right, so that's five points now for Spain. And this is the end of Seventh Fleet Gunner. This is the end of Fire Convergent. Now Jedis are on their own. Woo, even more with this kind of this is why you like Fire Convergence, <laughs> don't you? But yet, this was Serisu's time to attack. And such a risk from Boba. If he leaves, he also claims the objective. Yes, that's true. Second Proton Torpedo out of Genesis. Only one so far. Two crits after spending the lock, and you've got an evade, that's why you took it, so no big deal. And it seems like it's the end of attacks. Republic scores two. And uh, yeah, Scum and Villain scores one, so one, two, one, five to seven, it's okay. All right. And now what? Anakin is in a pretty good spot to start being annoying that cost hound's life but okay so gamut was used on serisu to get her the focus i don't think that's quite useful but it could be if you consider mace is going to hit her i think obi should be a shield down Shield over there. Okay, okay, okay. No problem. Yeah, he's got a he's got a shield upgrade. Alright, so I don't know who the target is because problem is Gamut is scary, but he's also worth only three points. So uh Three points. Huh. Yeah, that's that's interesting. Only three points for this guy. You can pay up to three points for a vulture, and this guy costs three. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, um. <clears throat> I guess this one will remain unclaimed at the end of the round. This one might go to Boba. This one might go to uh, All Souls Common Villainy. This one as well. The hard turn or uh, 
or a bank from Serizu here. This one might be contested or for the Republic. So I guess at the end of the round we have a um, one, two, three, two, I don't know, one or zero. So, um, hmm. I think Andy can put a lot of pressure on Cormac by focusing on grabbing objectives. Ha! What a connection we have. Uh, yeah, I do agree. Sarisu is in a very good spot, Boba as well. Genesis did her job. Though it wasn't what you expected, she did her job. Now it's just a little M3A. What a quite cool ability, though. Talon Boba, two right, two hard, Seri right, Katon, Genesis. Yeah, seems like a reasonable option. And you can still throw a bomb. Does that take the objective? Three talent right? Yeah, of course. Every day. Like you go there. So yeah, no problem. Maybe both. Both? Nah, both is a bit too far though. You will end up... Oh! Well, if you go to the front, means like your front is like there. No, I don't think you take both. It It's close, but I don't think you take both, though. Oh. Let's go back to main view. Seems like... Oh, oh Andy, for the first time. Where was I? Where was I? All right, all right. Maybe not, but kind of close. I mean, that's that's interesting for sure. <coughs> Proton bomb. Got to expect those. And then gamut. Then Genesis. Oh, add a boost. All right, aren't we aggressive? Not quite sure I like that, but I guess that's one way to put it. Five straight from Genesis. I would have preferred the uh, three or four K. I do agree. Takes an evade, will contest the standard objective. Maze will go five straight. So, are you in range of the bomb? Let's, uh. Oh, I guess you are close but I guess you are yeah might as well roll to the left problem with this is you are probably not getting yeah so I do like the fact that Serisu is blocked the problem that I have in 2.5 is that blocking Serisu this way grants her a shot but you don't have one Yeah, so it's okay, but it gives you nothing. It costs you, actually. Because she's got a focus, so anything that you could do against her to defend 
to um, to attack her would be nullified by this focus. She's got a shot on you. She contests the objective. I'm not a fan. I'm not a huge fan. Five stretch from Obi. Oh, okay. So I guess now we can consider that uh, focus boost is getting you out of the bomb. Good 2.0 play, not great in 2.5. <laughs> yes, it's actually defensive to not have any pass. Big chance, any overshoots. Yeah, I mean, like, the only thing I see is, uh, yeah, he's in the way, but only if, like, Annie dialed a one bank or some kind of, no, he doesn't have the one bank. Uh, po -po -po, go there. Nope, not this one. Yeah, I mean, like, two bank gets you here. So, yeah, okay, gamut isn't shot. But the thing is, like, I guess... Yeah, you want to shoot Serisu anyway. Barrel roll boost. Yeah, I guess this is the only option. And he spent the force, so I guess there is a fine-tuned control. We shall see that come in a few seconds. There you go. Start with a roll. Not much of a choice. So do you bank boost left? <laughs> to line up a bullseye that won't be of any use? Because you don't have any force left? I guess he's still in range then. All right. Two bank from Anakin. Can you fit a barrel just in front of Gamut? Oh, what happened? Uh, no, I guess you can't. It will be a little short. Better than not getting a shot. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he spent a force. Why is that? Why did he spend a force? Um, why did he spend a force? Why did he spend a force? Is there any reason he spends a force here? Uh, I, I, I don't understand. The bomb wasn't in range of Obi-Wan. That's a uh, good news. Uh, I... Oh, oh, no shot on Gamut, though you target locked him. Lock is purple. Oh, correct. Yeah, that is some kind of a rare action. So there is also that that works with uh, Yoda, though Yoda died, of course. But so he used compassion. No, blech. patience. Took a deplete. To regain a force. Plenty of evade. The lack of K-turn for Jen is sad, otherwise ending looking in a decent position. Can Jen red bank or turn left? to grab both objectives 
while Boba gets back involved. Why why Red Bank? Is there that blue? Hmm. I'm not quite sure what is happening right now. There is a reroll. So that's Serisu losing a shield. No, that's yeah, that's Serisu losing a shield. Right, so Kim has no shot. So yeah, just pretty much a defensive position, but you're out of everything. You just tend to Minimize the scoring of your opponent. That's basically just what you do. 8 9. 8 9. Yeah. 6 to 9 because 1 point on the left and 2 on the right. There you go. It's pretty much linked to uh, Hound being dead. Because uh, 6 point scenario on the left, four on the right. So the only difference between those players is the lads being dead. That's the only thing. I mean, because uh, if not, this is red player winning right now. OB is angry. Genesis is the name, not the color. Yes. It appears to be written just about there. Twelve minutes on the clock. And it's also red. Red Genesis red. Twelve minutes. There is not much time left. Sexy French accent. Efficient German accent. What the hell? Fun walk. Ay ay ay. Alright. Just came in and the scores for the countries are wrong. 2 3 for Ireland and 1 4 for Spain. What? Well, official documents are wrong then. Loss, 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 Oop. Uh, and, oh no, actually, I was wrong for Spain. 1-4. But on the other hand, uh, Ireland, I had the score right, but it seemed like... Uh, yeah, Island UK was a draw according to TTO. Aha! I'll let you fight in that. There was just a game to be played later, caused to internet issues. Official is TTO. Yes, uh, but TTO is unreadable, so. 2-0 uh, 3. Well, that doesn't change anything for me. So I feel like two hard left from Jen might cap both objectives. I guess one banks does this trick as well. I'd stop the hawk to keep contesting the corner. No, you cannot stop him. He's stressed. England, not UK. No draws allowed in FCC final. You told me bullshit, Nils. That's the first and the last time. I was okay. All right. Um, back to our Irish player. He won one store. Was confusing indeed on that draw game. So basically, 
what we also need to do right now is get that out of the way. There you go. All right. So, who's moving? Gamut moves and boosts. So now middle is contested. I mean contested. Do you know what I mean? Shit is confusing and way too many place, places with scores. Yes. That's okay. I just wanted to have scores. I wonder if I will do it again. If it brings confusion, might as well not do it. You've got access to all documents. You'll, you'll seek the information yourself. Alright, so Mace can perform an action courtesy of R4P17. He recovers a force, grabs a target lock on Serisu, and that will be it. Stays in touch with the objective. Oh, and Serisu, uh, Genesis. Uh, yeah. Maybe you're in range, but I'm not quite sure you are. Oh ho! Obi Wan as well. It's the turn for red maneuvers. England Island replayed a game in the evening as they had massive connection issues during the official round. Yeah, I, I know about I knew about that. I didn't know it led to something. It's just that uh on my point of view I joined the game that was going to be replayed and I got ejected from the game. Which as a French being like, you know, disconnected by an my guy from England is quite some kind of a war declaration, but it's okay. Contacted my lawyers. It will be settled. Alright, so Serisu Barrel rolls to avoid being in Mace Bullseye. That seems quite good. There are also so many Discord channels, including some key information shared in the Captain Chan. I don't bother with this. I bring you content. Whether it's good or bad is your decision. That's my thoughts. I'm here to commentate, enjoy, and show. That's basically what I do. If I were a good player, I'd be right there, playing with them. They lost again Italy, US, and US. <laughs> no, US and us. I understood. But that was, that was cool. <laughs> they lost to Italy, US, and US. Uh-huh. I'm here, so it's amazing content. Marvelous. They run today isn't as I thought. they may have a shit <laughs> at winning the thing. <laughs> a shot, okay. <laughs> Not if they're two, three. Uh, <laughs> wonderful. Alright, so Anakin taking a purple target lock onto Serisu. Feels kind of a trap to attack Serisu, but it's okay. Boba might be a bit far from everything. Alright, so Anakin for of course, it's always when you choose a target lock, <laughs> then you've got the three focus results. Oh man. This is why you love the lat. Don't bother taking target locks, you've got rerolls. Now the choice is whether you reroll one, two, three, or four. Yeah, not quite good, but Sarisu lost a shield and has no mods because of the bear roll. So just do not forget that you've got your own reroll. Ouch! Sarisu is dead, and the crit is. Fulik. 
All right, and now Cormac is back on the lead. Uh, two points scored for Scum and Villainy at the end of the round. Two for Republic. If he loved that, he would not leave it alone. Eh. Yeah, I guess. I guess this includes sacrifice. I'm not quite sure the lad was in a good position, but I understand the idea. Alright, so who scores? Anakin, obviously. Obi-Wan and Mace, obviously. But is this one scored? Yes, but only by Boba. So, yeah, this move from Genesis wasn't that good. Gives you nothing, actually. Alright, so that's a 2-2. Two to two. One two, one two. Twelve to eleven. Last round. All right. So this will be an interesting one. Problem is Jedi's are stressed. Anakin has no force. Though you can just compassion. Um, Boba is coming. And yeah, might be a. Uh, a little hard because <clears throat> you cannot kill Boba. Not with six hole, not in one turn. I mean, it could be possible, but you'd had you'd have to uh, get some resources on it. Problem is, you might not want that. Tricky for Andy now, unlikely to kill anything. Yeah, but it always feels very dangerous for a last turn to be hunted by Boba. And the problem is you just cannot give up objectives as you would normally do with such a uh, AC list. You would just like run and get away from your opponent, but in this case you just cannot. You've got to score at least, I'd say, you at least have to score one point. Because I guess uh, Genesis and Gamut are not going to be contesting two. I guess one is their maximum. Both players need to grab two or lose. Genesis and Gambit going for objectives and Boba threatening any to prevent him from one harding roll left to get one point. Mm -hmm. Caps top right. Top right? Oh, one bank. Oh, one bank boost. Mm, okay. Boba needs to get to the bottom left objective. Three straight boosts left. Oh, three straight boosts left. That's... Hold on, hold on. What is happening? Just a second. There you go. Uh, ooh, um, yeah, okay. You'd be confident. What? Why is there no game? Oop, there you go. I'm back, I'm back. Can Jen Hart turn right and cap both? No, I don't think so. Andy will be first. Okay, it seems like it won't be as we planned. This is why I was what I was afraid of. Gamut not doing much because Genesis is going straight nonetheless, so they are contesting the same objective. I mean, you could boost. He's wondering about that. I'm not quite sure the boosts get you in range.
Hmm. I mean, at this point, if there is only one scenario point uh, secured by uh, scum, it's GG. It is probably GG. Yeah, okay, he's coordinating and he fails the coordination. So, uh, yeah. I guess a both, uh, I mean, like, all the Jedi surviving mean just win the game. That's basically it. That will be it. One point at the end of the turn. Two straight from Mace, getting some kind of a asteroid protection. Maybe not. Oh, maybe he's making room for Obi. That would be weird. Okay, so takes an evade. What is happening right now? Why, why are you doing this? Um. Okay. I am surprised. I am surprised. This feels weird. Very, very weird. Your winning condition is not about that. It's about having more objectives than your opponent. And hmm. Yeah, that's GG to Ireland. So yeah, Gamut contesting one, Genesis another, and Boba getting close to this one was the way of winning, but... Yeah, okay, well... <laughs> I guess this is pretty much uh, a concede at this point. Yeah, you, you don't have to do anything fancy. You already won, actually, so it's okay. High gravity center objective. <laughs> he just really liked that male objective. Much easier watching them playing, but Andy lost sight of the win condition. Yeah, yeah, of course, it's always easier when you just watch. That is for sure. But, um, yeah. Some kind of a... Yeah. Remembering, remembering this will be interesting in future games that you play. And GG... So that is one and two more on the left, one more on the right, and it's the end. Why are there two points scored? No, 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 just one. There you go. All right, 14 to 12, GG to Team Ireland coming out with a win so we will have everything settled for next round what will be uh, so this was round six on a solid satellite array round seven is salvage mission What, like, okay, this is, this is a question, what country do you want to see playing? Because now I did everything. So do you want, like, top, top tier countries? 
I want to bet. Oh, yeah, paying the bets. That's also something I can do. So Cormac won the game. So what country do you want? Maybe you wanted to coordinate the boost on Boba, but it was out of range. So he wanted to coordinate something to Boba, that is for sure. But question is... Nah, with a, with a too hard, this would have led to Boba being like right there. Which, I don't know if it was useful. Canada lost, by the way. Oh, ho! Oh. Interesting. I could go with Canada, if you want. USA dog crap. What? <laughs> Okay, gotta go. Maybe I'll drop by later. Have a good day! Alright, so... Next turn, there is... Canada, England Germany, USA Australia, Philippines Spain, Italy Ireland, Czech Republic I'm from USA, I can say it. <laughs> okay, you know what? Like, can I? Uh do that yes which country country so we've got USA Canada uh, sp no so n Spain Air Ireland are out because we just streamed them um, USA so we cannot stream Canada no we cannot stream Spain, Ireland, so Italy and Czech Republic are out, so Canada, 